What's up guys, Toxie here. So today we're going to be discussing and analyzing some gameplay from the world of Warcraft legend, Grimm. And we're going to make a decision for ourselves on whether or not he was one of the deadliest, if not the deadliest vanilla rogues World of Warcraft has ever seen. So at first, we'll look into his combat spec and then we'll delve into the juicy cold blood preparation spec that he utilizes with Rentaki's charm of trickery and misplaced several hours. I don't know why I said it like that. But anyway, without further ado, grab a drink, kick back, relax, and enjoy the video. Okay, so he's up against a 42.5 Warlock here. Opens with a cheap shot, Sinister Strike, Rentakis, Sinister again, into a Gouge. He pops Adrenaline Rush, Blade Flurry, into a full Kidney. All right, big damage here, buffed up. As you can see, the Blade Flurry is killing the pet. He gets the pet. Pre kicks into a blind. It's a necessary blind right there. So, what Grim's going to do now is he's going to uh, stealth and reopen. Cheap shot, pre kick, pre shadow reflector. Oh, and the Warlock Death calls the shadow reflector. Beautiful play. Okay, guys, so for when you're in situations like this, up against a full T2.5 Soul Link Warlock with almost 6k HP unbuffed. You'll see why Rentaki's Charm of Trickery really shines and synergizes so well with combat spec. So, for those of you who don't know, Rentaki's Charm of Trickery is a rogue specific trinket which you get from Zul'Gurub, and when you pop it, it gives you an instant 60 energy and has only a 3 minute cooldown. Now, to me, this is like insanely overpowered because it allows you to make such silky smooth and solid stun rotations, especially as combat spec. Now, You'll see here the lightning effect on Grim. That's the Rentaki's charm being popped. So it also has a nicer animation, I guess. But Grim opens with a cheap shot into a Sinister Strike. He pops the Rentaki's, gets an extra Sinister Strike, and then goes to a full gouge. Now, the, the Rentaki's allows him to be able to pop Adrenaline Rush and Blade Flurry within this gouge, and then go into a, five, a very strong five-point kidney shot, which you'll see he does here. So he pops the gouge, then he goes Adrenaline Rush, Blade Flurry, then bam, into a five point kidney. Now in this five point kidney, he's also killing his pet. He's got 100% energy regeneration up and he's, he's smashing the wall up down with the uh, Sinister Strike. So this is a perfect example of where you can utilize Rentakis to get a really strong uh, full stun rotation off. And then he, obviously he goes into the blind. So he actually finishes the pet off because he's probably just got so much attack power and then gets into a full blind. Notice you have to blind the Warlock after the first stun rotation because the Warlock will be trying to smash like this, the Death Coil key, <laughs> which you'll see he does in a minute, but Grim knows better and he, uh, he prepares for it. So he opens with a cheap shot. He kicks, improved kicks and then pre shallow reflex because he's predicting the Death Coil and gets it. So yeah, really nice play from Grim there. Okay, I just wanted to touch on this clip here because this is actually some high level rogue gameplay. So he backstabs the rogue, runs ahead of him, then he runs back to the rogue but backwards to avoid the gouge. And then notice here what he does is he expose armors the rogue while the rogue is in the gouge. But notice the gouge does not break because he's using, using his stop attack macro on the gouge. Now, this is being used in an unfamiliar situation, to be fair, because usually a common situation of this would be where you would do it at the start of a duel. So you would sap somebody and then you would cheap shot them with a stop attack macro, or you can do it my way, which I like to go at a 90 degree angle and do it. I don't like to use macros for this because I get more satisfaction in actually using the method, using positioning. I don't know why I just complicate things for myself, but, but yeah. Um, so you would sap them in a duel, open with a cheap shot at an angle or with the stop attack macro, and you would basically gain two extra combo points for free. And if you have improved stealth, you could just stand in the same spot and then get a re-stealth, or if not, and you're feeling like, you know, you're not that confident, maybe gain some distance, re-stealth, then reopen. So yeah, you can do it like this, and it also works with things like expose armor. Um, it won't break the cheap shot, it won't break the gouge, and it won't break the sap, if you understand what I mean. And also as well, you can do sap, um, Garrote and Rupture and the sap will not break for like two seconds or a second and a half or something like that until the actual Rupture or Garrote goes off. So you can kind of like gain some distance. So yeah, it's, it's really nice. And also as well, your Cripple Poison's prop too. So yeah, it's, uh, it's really good gameplay. 
So we expose armors, ruptures, vanishes, bang, 2.3k, cold blood, ambush. Nice. Okay, so this is a nice example of rogue versus rogue and actually reverting an opener. So the rogue gets a cheap shot on him, gets a cripple poison into a gouge, pops adrenaline rush, full kidney. So he's got about four seconds to burst him down here. If he can't burst him down, then he's got to bleed him up, which he does. And if you see here, Grim gets a really nice gouge off. So in situations like this, the rogue is usually behind you, DPSing you down. So you kind of have to blind out of it. But in this situation, the rogue is circling around him while he's damaging him and it just so happens it ends is in the frontal position which allows him to get the gouge off so now he's got the gouge off he pops adrenaline rush and banishes and reverts the opener but as you can see grim is dotted up sorry he's bled up with a rupture so he has to make sure he vanishes in between the bleed timer which he does perfectly and reverts the opener so pops adrenaline rush vanish in between the bleed reopens with the kidney uh, sorry a cheap shot Damages him down, full kidney, rent pops rentakis, gets the job done. Okay, so we're just going to get into some really juicy clips of five point cold blood eviscerate crits of my favorite spec of all time cold blood preparation hemo. Enjoy. All right, so here's the cold blood preparation spec bang 2.9k, cheap shot, gouge, five point eviscerate, cold blood, see you later, 2.6. This is my favorite vanilla spec of all time. I absolutely love this spec. So overpowered. Because you can stack five combo points really quickly and then just finish them off with a cold blood. So if you've got gear and you've got a sick weapon, bye bye. Vanish, cheap shot, bang 2.2k eviscerate. Cheap shots in the mage, gouges him. Cold Blood of this 2.4. Just see, you see how OP it is. <laughs> 2.5. Bang, 2.2. Okay, guys, well, that concludes our grim PvP video for today. We've seen Shadow Reflectors, we've seen Outplays, and we've seen crazy numbers. But with that being said, we have a decision to make. Was Grim one of the deadliest rogues Vanilla WoW has ever seen? In my personal opinion, 100%. And even in today's standards, he'd still outshine 90% of the rogues that I see. I still don't see a lot of rogues using engineering or even putting the time in to get a Rentakis. So, thumbs up to Grim on that one. But now it's your turn. Your turn to let me and everyone else know what you think in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed the video, smash a like. And please consider subscribing to the channel for more amazing World of Warcraft PvP content. So. I'm Toxie and I will see you in the next one. Peace.